But guys, I am excited for this game and there's been a lot of hate surrounding it. And there's a final preview that IGN put out on it. Uh, and this game is supposed to come out in like a month, right? And I actually have high expectations for it. I have a lot of fingers crossed good hope for the game. And a lot of people don't. And a lot of people don't because it's made by Ubisoft. And I get that because Ubisoft has kind of crapped the bed recently, right? And I, I, from what I've seen of it, I don't know. I have, I have a weird sense of optimism for the game, okay? So here we go. This is the last preview uh, yeah, for Star Wars Outlaws. You have to pay me to hang out with you. Now, it one of the first criticisms that they've had that with it. Star Wars Outlaws is the first ever open world Star Wars game, but indeed it's true. With that first comes plenty of experts. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause real quick. What one of the things that they've had with the game, a lot of like negative controversy, is one, the graphics of all things. I'm like, oh well, it's kind of hit or miss to where graphics look. I'm like, it still looks good regardless. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, so many people are getting caught up on like need to have state of the art graphics, need to have this like Unreal Engine five like looks damn near real and you know, type of graphics. Why? Like, if it's good enough, I would rather have good gameplay than amazing graphics. Do you guys feel me on that? So it's like, I would rather be able to enjoy playing the game and the graphics still look good rather than I can see every blade of grass moving in the wind. I don't, that's just not for me. So that's the first criticism. We'll get to some more later. Lots of excitement, particularly when the studio handling the effort is massive entertainment the talented developers of the division speaking personally division has some good has some good parts to get it right hyped up for it too did. many open world games these days outside of those made by rockstar as those can be counted on to raise the bar every single time but i have been plenty hyped for Outlaws. like look after all i feel like this is a star wars game back. if you look at this like look at this you can see the gun smoke you can see it where it hits the wall Right? I'm pointing at my mask monitors over here. But like you can see the indentions on the wall where the blaster hit. You can see the smoke from it. You can see the reactions from being hit in the shoulder. Right? To me, so far, it looks great. Another negative thing that this game is getting is the fact that there's no like lightsabers and there's none of that, right? You're in the you're the you're the underworld. You're an outlaw, right? You're like a Han Solo type of character. I don't mind a different take on it. Not every single, again, I understand it's Star Wars and I love me some Star Wars, but like, I don't have to play as a Jedi or a Sith in every Star Wars game that I play. I don't have to. I can enjoy the world of Star Wars and not have to be a Jedi myself. Yeah, is it cool to have a lightsaber and kind of dodging bullets and like baseballing it back at him? Yes, absolutely. But I don't have to be a Jedi every time I play a Star Wars game. So I'm kind of excited to be a scoundrel, right? To be a smuggler and see how see what that entails. Because there's like five different factions, you know, that you can like pit against each other and be good with or be bad with, you know, and vice versa. So we'll get to some of that in the video. You play as a Han Solo caliber scoundrel instead of yet another Jedi, and you've got an awesome alien creature pet named Nyx by your side at all times, who promises to have an impact on gameplay and not just follow our hero K Vess around being adorable. In other words, it's got a lot going for it on paper. You don't have to play as Spartans oh, in Halo yes, 3 yeah. ODST, and that Best game was still job. phenomenal. And while it you doesn't don't seem like our exactly, do I agree with you. like bar raising, after playing a near final build of it, for four hours across two different sections of gameplay, I can say so it's far, still one of I'm my most anticipated game. games yet to come out in a busy second half of 2024, yeah. and it feels very Star Wars in all the right ways. Right. Final preview. Oh, Again, man. we'll talk along the way uh, as, with, as the video Ubisoft goft on, has developed but, a reputation uh, for making checklist open world. You know what? Games. I'm gonna pause. For, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause real quick a... because that's another reason right there that this game is getting so much negative publicity it's because of ubisoft and ubisoft has such a bad connotation with it has such a bad rap that 
oh, it's a Ubisoft game. You're going to have all these different things to do and random bloat around the map. The maps are going to be huge. And you're going to have to do all these little things to keep you busy. And it's going to be repetitive grinding like Assassin's Creed and all these games. I understand. Don't get me wrong. I understand that, that, that argument. I just got done playing and beating Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I'll be honest with you. The latter half of that game, I just kind of hard grinded the storyline and I didn't even worry about all the excess bloat because there was a lot. So I agree that there is a ton of bloat in like the Assassin's Creed games, especially the later ones. Now I've done Mirage, Shadows is coming out. So I get the whole Ubisoft negative connotation with that. I, for some reason, again, I just I'm holding out hope. I don't see it being like that in this game. Outlaws has, I think like what, five different worlds uh, and they're not huge. Yes, they're big, don't get me wrong, but it's not like Assassin's Creed Odyssey huge. So I don't feel, and then but I said in another video that about four or five minutes on a speeder bike, you can get from one side of the map to the next. That's not terrible at all. Some people might say, oh, that's it? Well, what do you want? Anything bigger and you're gonna be complaining about it being too big of a map. So I actually have optimism for the world design in this game so far. The to-do list of side quests and activities to complete outside of the Golden Path. Generally, this is not a compliment. But one of the things that impressed me about Star Wars Outlaws is that I didn't get the sense that I was just checking boxes to inch closer See? to 100% game completion. See? Don't get me wrong, there is plenty to do in Outlaws, but those side quests and activities feel a lot more organic than they do in the publisher's other games. For example, while wandering around the town of Miragana on the planet Toshara, I walked by an arcade minigame of sorts. I wandered Ooh. up and played around and had a good time. I also stumbled okay. upon a betting stand where I could wager on holographic horse races. Kind of like a Final I managed Fantasy. to bet on the right one by sheer chocobo luck, races. which gave me a or chuckle chocobo later races. when I discovered a data pad lying around elsewhere that gave me a strong hint on who to lay my money on. I also encountered oh, a down on their kind of gambling addict who begged me for money. I obliged, enabling his vice and leaving with a promise that he'd share in his winnings should he find himself back on Lady Luck's good side. Naturally, there's also a cantina, and I even saw a look at sabak the, table. Look how beautiful but I this is. Sufficient this funds really the screams Star Wars. I feel Someone like they the did a great job with the ambiance of the game, and the feel of all the game. Of these Just from all of these videos that I've very seen, natural on it the planets seems and like Star Wars. Outlaws, it really and that's has that true in feel part because of the excellent art direction that makes every location ooze Star Wars authenticity. Yeah, from the lighting to the architecture to the NPCs milling about, massive has, based on what I've seen so far, done an excellent job of setting an authentic oh Star Wars Did stage. you see? Like, people joke about the graphics. Excellent Hold job on, look, of setting look right here, an authentic look right here. Star Wars stage. Did I, did I not go back far enough? Massive. Oh, there we go, there we go. From the light watch, okay, watch the trees, okay? Watch the clouds, watch her hair as it moves in the wind. ...to the architecture, to the NPCs milling about, Massive has, based on what I've seen so far, done an excellent That's a windy job day. of setting an authentic in real life. Star Wars stage. That looks good to me. People ragging on the graphics of it. That I looks good to me. how the story of Star Wars Outlaws only supports and reinforces all of this. Kay is just out to make her way in an unforgiving galaxy, lying or double-crossing as she needs to in order to look out for number one. This plays out in occasional dialogue choices that pop up during cutscenes, adding a bit more player agency to what would otherwise be a mini Star Wars in-game movie. Will those choices affect how the plot ultimately There's five plays different out? factions. I wouldn't bet on it, but so there I like is a how reliable faction representation kind of playing off system each other. that tracks how much or little now, each of one thing that I'm going to be honest with you about, the fact that there are five different factions, I'm hoping upon praying, upon crossing my fingers, legs, and arms, and toes, and everything, that this faction system plays a lot like the Nemesis system from the Star Wars like Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War games. Have you guys played that? I love those games. Love it. The Nemesis system was actually patented by... Oh crap, Monolith? No. Was it Monolith that made him? 
who made I can't remember who made uh, those games, but they patented the the Nemesis system. So it hasn't been in any other game. But the way they're describing these five different factions and how like what you do for them either triggers that they hate you, that they want to help you, and vice versa. This sounds like a Nemesis system type of display, right? I hope it's in depth. That's another big thing. If they can nail this like faction, this faction uh, co co cohesiveness, 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 right? If they can nail that, I think that's going to go a long way for like the longevity and like the the depth of the game. Because the whole premise of this game is you are a smuggler. You're an outlaw, right? So you have to get on these factions, good or bad side, depending on how you want to play it. And ultimately, this could change your gameplay for replayability as well. If the in-game syndicates likes you, double cross the huts and you'll harm your reputation with them, but increase your standing with the Crimson Dawn. Piss off a faction enough and they won't let you into their territory, meaning you'll have I, uh, to sneak in and stay undetected if you want access. This is kind of a game access. that I enjoy playing on the side. It's no. Star Wars, uh, Star Wars, Total you know War Warhammer 3. And if you play as with Skaven and uh, you're Pickett, probably wondering, no, uh, what of the moment to moment uh, gameplay? The Eshen Sorcerer, this, what's his name? Oh my god, made me happy. This is a rat. stealth game if you um, want it to be. And if you mess up in that attempt, I honestly like wow, that you I'm don't have a now. lightsaber to save you. You'll have to use Kay's blaster, which yes, is upgradable, to get out of trouble. And that adds to uh, the sense of anyway, danger he has, because his faction not a laser has sword wielding a system in there where as such, if you do the some things for one scaling like faction, it, it pisses off another and, and the stealth person. gameplay had a bit of weight to it because I knew that I'd be up against it if I messed up. Going for reinforcements. Roger that. Naturally, with stealth comes lock picking, and it's here too in the form of data Death spikes. Master and snitch. I quite like how is. Outlaws handles it. Each lock has a particular audio signature, and it's up to you to match that pattern by pressing the right trigger oh, in time okay. with the beeps. The longer you attention. take, the more likely you are to be spotted. Similarly, the hacking minigame is also really fun. Here, you'll need to line up the right symbols in the right order, which usually takes multiple attempts. Fail too often and you'll fail the hack entirely. It took me a wow. few tries to wrap my head okay. around, but once I did, I really enjoyed the opportunities I got to do some hacking. Nice. The core stealth wow. gameplay is right. aided by the breakout. That's interesting. Those mini games Nyx. go a long way too. Yes, Nyx is the BD one of this game, like but uh, Witcher to Three Kestis's Gwent, droid card companion, game, but like Kay's I love collecting cards. Can do a whole lot Gwent. more for you. He can distract an enemy by getting the bad guy's attention and adorably playing dead, or flat out attack them. He can hit buttons or switches too, or set off bombs, yep. and retrieve items. This is useful when you're pinned down in a firefight and a more potent A300 blaster rifle is across the room. Nyx can go fetch it and bring it back and drop it at your feet without you leaving cover. I even like how Outlaws handle. I wonder how dumb they're weapons. gonna make the stormtroopers. They can't be reloaded. You know what I mean? It's like you fire the all the rounds, whole you just like drop hiding the system. You're not from Assassin's Creed. From like Assassin's Creed, like you can literally be like five five feet away from them, they still can't see you. You know what I mean? So I wonder how dumb they're gonna make the stormtroopers in this, where like you're hiding. How how hiding are you? And that that's the one thing that that. Obviously, they're not going to hit you. They're stormtroopers. Like, their bullets aren't going to hit you. But are they going to make it to where you actually have to be super stealthy? Or, you know, running guns the way to go? Heard the stormtroopers are modeled after you? Wait, do you mean perfect? That can't be right. I mean, I'm a model of physical perfection. You're welcome. Blasters. This is likely a design decision to ensure that K never feels too overpowered, thus making sure the player is always on their toes in combat. Out like here, that, you like live that. and die by your reputation. Finally, you can't have an open world Star Wars game without ways to get around that expanse, yep. and in Outlaws, K has a speeder bike that, as you'd guess, can also be upgraded. You can well, win yeah. credits doing races or just Makes stop sense. off along the way to your destination at some interesting looking pit stop. Uh, of course, the it'd have to have race mini well. It almost feels like driving a boat in Wave Race 64 in that Ooh. it's pretty fast and arcadey and maneuverable, but hardly handles like it's on rails. I 
like that. Oh my god. Complimenting this. This is I'm the excited ship, for. The Trailblazer. If you guys ever played Rogue Squadron, they did a great job with the with aerial combat, right? I say aerial because you're out in space. But the transitions from going down, landing on a planet, going up into a planet are seamless, right? Yes, part of it are cut scenes, but it seems like it's seamless. Like if you're you're flying into a planet and then the cut scene will be you like flying through clouds where you don't have any control. Well, then once you come out of the clouds, then you have control again, right? So part of it's a loading screen, like, but it's, it acts as like a cut scene and it doesn't really, it, 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 from the looks of it, it looks pretty seamless. I'm gonna see how that turns out. The fighting in space, I wonder, I want to know how much aerial combat is actually in the game. Like, can I just spend hours out in there floating around, flying around, fighting people? Or is it only after certain missions when I go into space, then I'm going to come across resistance that I'm about to fight? That's going to be another thing. Is there free exploration where I'm going to come across like just a couple random TIE fighters that I can, I can shoot down? Or is it after certain story elements and campaign milestones, then when I fly up out of a planet, I'm going to get into a dogfight, right? If they can make it to where I could randomly just be fighting in space, that's going to be a lot of fun. And yes, it's upgradable. I got to do a bit of outer space ship to ship combat and I had a good time. I'll need plenty more time in the pilot seat to really solidify my opinion here, but flying the Trailblazer made a good first impression. Oh, that's it. We've lost them. If there's one thing that concerned me a bit during my hands-on time, it's bugs. Outlaws went gold yeah. well before the preview event. Uh, there's always gonna be bugs. I wasn't playing That's why I'm kind of nervous. Build, it was something Ubisoft games have you Ubisoft and games have yes, a will inevitably be bad a track record patch, as for having lots of bugs nowadays. on launch. It was still disappointing to see as many annoying so maybe like two months down the road and visual and harmless glitches as I did. Hopefully that day one update will knock out the bulk of them. You know the rules. No credits, no sabak. And you I may play it like a week fortune. after it Ultimately, comes out. Ultimately, though, Give I had a, a fantastic time with Star Wars Outlaws. Open world games tend to be jacks of all trades, masters of none. And while I'm not sure Outlaws will master any of its gameplay components, it nonetheless not only does them all very well, but it does so with a convincing Star Wars sheen. And since yeah. there's somehow I never like been an open world Star Wars game before, it feels new, fresh, and most welcome. I'm glad this is arguably the first big name game out this fall on August 30th because I can't wait to play more of it. How do you know my name? I keep an I feel eye the out same. for new talent. For now, I don't know Star what the bad Wars drama Outlaws, is. Don't miss our exclusive 10 minutes of gameplay as well as our behind the scenes look at how Nyx was created. And for everything else in the worlds of Star Wars and video games and Star Wars video games, stick with IGN. Stick with IGN. Now here's the thing. I am excited for the game, okay? There's been a lot of bad publicity around it. We talked about some of those throughout the video. Ultimately, I'm gonna go in with a positive mind frame because here's what happens. Gamers, content creators, reviewers, anybody already has the stigma in the back of their mind that it's gonna be trash. It's gonna be another typical Ubisoft game where you're gonna have to do all this bloated garbage on the side and not a lot, not a re regurgitated combat. If you automatically go into the game with that negative mindset right off the bat, of course you're gonna be disappointed. Of course you're gonna be let down because you're going to be looking for any little piece that is like, ah, oh, see, I knew it. As the gamer, you wanna be correct. You want to be, oh, I knew it. I am the smartest gamer alive. I knew they were going to do this, right? You need to go into it with an open mind that you're like, you know what? I'm going to play an open world Star Wars game for the very first time ever as an outlaw Han Solo type without a lightsaber. Go into it knowing you're not going to have a lightsaber. It's going to be open world and you're going to have the elements of exploration. I think you'll enjoy the game. Now, that could be just me. That could be me just being fairly optimistic about the game. But that's the way I feel. If you have a different perspective of the game, if you have a different opinion of the game, please let me know. I'd love to talk with you. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. But ultimately, I will be playing it when it comes out. Uh, maybe a week after, give some up, give some like 
day one patches and stuff to come out, but I will be playing it rather soon, and I'll be playing it on stream. So, uh, yeah, stick around for that. Let me know what you think of it. Appreciate you.